Oh, why are you here? Oh, you here because you want to improve your Steam Deck's performance dramatically with this trick. So let me show you how to do it. Oh, and by the way, this is not the UMA buffer trick. I'll have the link for that in the description below. This is a different trick that works amazingly. So this is FIFA running on my Steam Deck now. And as you can see here, the performance is amazing. I'm running always above 80 frames per second. This was never done on the Steam Deck before. My FIFA used to run so badly, even after the UMA buffer trick, it used to get 60 frames per second, but it was laggy and not smooth at all. But this makes it smooth like butter. So before we get to it, let's talk about today's sponsor, iVoller. This is the best Steam Deck dock in the market right now. It's made out of metal and it's really, really sturdy. Look at the design of this. At the back, we have an HDMI, a gigabyte cable, a charging port and three USBs. This never slides on the table, which is also a plus. I left the link for this in the description below if you want to buy it. Let's get started. So let me show you now how to achieve this amazing FPS boost on your Steam Deck windows. So. First you need to go to the file explorer here and then you need to find PC. Right click on this and go to properties. Wait for it to load and on the right side you need to go to advanced settings. Open advanced settings and you need to press on settings under performance. So press settings here and then you need to go to advanced. So after you want to advance there's something there that says virtual memory. So as you can see here I have 1000 virtual memory available right now but when it comes at the box it's basically 3000. I don't really know why it improves the performance so much but let's do it because it did it for me. So you need to go to custom size and the first one you need to put 10,000 and the second one you need to put 11,000 and then you need to press OK, press OK again and then you need to restart your Steam Deck. So make sure you restart your Steam Deck from the restart button. Do not turn it off from the lock button, just restart it from here and wait for it to load and then go back again to advanced settings to the same place we opened before I need to see that you have 10,000 megabytes of virtual memory. As you can see here, I have 10,000 megabytes, so that means my Steam Deck is ready for the new trick that makes your performance so much better and again, I don't really know why that makes it better, but I'm going to show you the FIFA performance before the trick and let's see how it does. Okay, so this is a gameplay from my old video when I did the UMA buffer trick. As you can see here, the game is running at 60 frames per second, but the game is not really smooth. For some reason, it shows 60, but it's not smooth at all. Uh, but it's, it's good. Uh, the UMA buffer did uh, improve it from um, it was running below 60. It was like 40 frames per second to 60. But today's trick makes it all the way to 80 frames per second. So before you go, there is a bonus trick I'm going to share with you. You need to install the AMD Control Center. I left the link for it in the description below. I've done it in a different video. So after you install it, you need to open it here from the tray. Let's go down and find the tray. So here are the AMD settings that could control your game performance and how the game looks. So we have Halo here. Let's make the changes I like to show you to make your gameplay so much better. So you need to go to any game that you want. Let's go to Halo and change the settings that I like to change. So you do need to scroll down and find on the right side that it says color enhancement. So scroll down and you'll see here display color enhancement. Click on this and make sure it's set to vivid gaming. And then on the left side, you need to enable sharpening. This works similarly to the FSR on the Steam Deck Steam OS, you'll get a similar effect will make your game really sharp set this to 20% and then if you want to save some battery you need to go to Radeon chill and you need to set which I normally set to 60 so that's it for me guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like the channel subscribe and peace